Saint-Étienne knew they could climb onto the podium if they could take care of crisis at Marseille at the Stade Geoffrey Guichard, with Lyon only taking a point from their rearranged Week 17 fixture at Toulouse earlier in the evening. The hosts knew they had an opportunity to usurp their run rivals to go third. They also faced a Marseille team that had not won in eight games in all competitions, with Rudy Garcia's position as coach being only slightly stabilised in the weekend's draw with much-improved Monaco. A man under pressure, yet OM were only six points from the podium, but it was becoming hard to see, despite the wealth of talent, where the confidence and wins were going to come from. And the visitors were fortunate that Luis Dione couldn't get a clean head to Wabi Kazre's wicked ball across the face, of Steve Mondonda's goal. Yet despite all the gloom around the visitors, OM were to silence the vibrant atmosphere in the cauldron with a goal of beautiful simplicity. Kevin Strutman with the first league and Conferama goal since arriving from Roma, and he showed his clear delight. Florian Tovan released down the wing, and he picked out the Dutchman perfectly. Well, look, Perrin looked to try and get Levert back level. The Saint Etienne captain could only head wide as his coach Jean Louis Gasset looked on. Well, Marseille appearing to be more calm away from the pressure and toxic atmosphere that's began to grow at the velodrome because of the team's poor form. 1 0 at the break, thanks to Strutman and Levert staring at a first home reverse of the season. They've lost just once in their last 18 at home in the league. OM are also unbeaten in 10 domestically against Gasset's men, with Santé last being victorious in May 2013. The fans still hopeful, but it was OM who could have put further daylight between the sides. Lucas Ocampos testing out Stefan Ruffier. The ball came back in, Tovan with a screamer, but he cleared the crossbar. Excellent first opportunity from Ocampos. Although potentially going wide, Ruffier not taking any chances, and thankfully didn't pay a price. Satetia tried to up the tempo, and anything of note went through Wabe Kazri. He found Norwegian Ole Selnais, but his shot tame and easily taken by Mondonda. But the match turned on the overall success of VAR. Kazri's touch wide, Mondonda taking him out. The referee initially pointing to the spot, then Anthony Gauthier went to VAR. Was it offside? The answer was no, and therefore it was a penalty. Having been denied one in the first half, Kazri made no mistake from 12 yards. Stirring the cauldron back to life, a winner against Gangon from a free kick, now from the spot to net for the sixth game running. The Tunisian international on fire in Levert. Tovan though could have won the match against Monaco at the weekend with a late header, again using his head and failing to hit the target. Couldn't have been much closer. But Garcia will look back at this chance with the most frustration. Ocampos threw on goal, but Ruffier standing tall until the last moment and making a fine save. Levert tried to turn that into a winning moment. Roman Amamu off the bench, couldn't score. It felt like one goal could decide the contest and it was fitting that it was an absolute screamer. Kazri now with a career best 12 goals in a league season, claiming five of them in his last four league outings. The stats continue to impress seven in his last eight at Le Stade Gisha. And 10 of his 12 goals this season coming at the cauldron. Mondonda, absolutely no chance as Marseille without a win since the 25th of November. Garcia battling to save his OM project. Saint Etienne themselves, though, in dreamland. And if they are to manage a fairy tale return to the top level of European competition next season, Kazri holds the key.